<sighs> oh, there you are, YouTube. I'm really tired. The kids were very difficult today. And I like after once they woke up from their nap, like after afternoon nap, I wanted to go to bed ever since. But then like once we put them down for bed bed, like around six, like maybe around seven thirty is when I started feeling like, okay, I feel like awakeish now. It's still early. I don't even know if it's like it's not even ten yet. It's like nine forty five, but I've gotten tired again, and I'm ready for bed. But also, as I came up here, looked in this mirror over here, I saw that I had food all over me. Look at me, I'm a mess. We uh, picked up some pizza from Blaze Pizza. They had some, like, uh, this hot chicken pizza that I've been getting from there. But last time I was there, they forgot to put the hot sauce drizzle on top. This time, they forgot the hot sauce drizzle, but I was, went back in and was like, hey, forgot the drizzle, put that in. But when I brought it home, I saw they forgot the, um, what all comes on it? The dill pickles. I know that sounds weird, but it's good. And they have some sort of like, maybe it's like a cabbage, carrot, slaw sort of thing that they put on. And that wasn't there either. I wish I would have noticed that. Um, I only noticed the hot sauce because I was looking for it because they forgot it last time. So two times that I've gotten this. I've gotten this pizza three times. First time was perfect. Second time, forgot the drizzle. This time they forgot the drizzle and the pickles and the slaw type stuff. But I had to put the drizzle on because that's what I was looking for. Anyway, Blaze Pizza, you have messed up my order twice. So, I don't know if I should complain... I, I don't know. I'm too tired to do it now. They're probably closed now. And I will probably not feel like doing it tomorrow. But what I'm going to have to do is make sure I keep a list of all the toppings on this type of pizza that I order and make sure they are all on the pizza before I take it out of the store. Because I want the pizza like I had it the very first time, which was perfect. It had everything on it, including the hot sauce drizzle. So, that was my experience. Uh, also, my mother, she brought us over some desserts uh, from this place called Punch here in town. And I guess on Sunday they do half-off desserts, probably because they're trying to get rid of the <laughs> desserts from the week. Uh, you know, so they can make a fresh batch and sell these for half-off. But anyway, um, she brought over a few. One was like a white Russian cake which is amazing. Didn't eat that one, but I've had it before, and it's really good. Uh, some sort of blackberry trifle, which we didn't eat today. Um, my wife also got a uh, uh, white Russian cake, and she ate that and loved it. Um, I'll eat mine probably tomorrow for breakfast or something. Uh, but what I did eat tonight was like a pineapple crumble, and I'm glad I started with it, because one, it was the... I requested it because it was the most unique, I thought, because I never had anything like that before. I've had something like that, but not with pineapple. Um, and I'm glad I started with it because I already can tell you it would be my least favorite one. It, just the flavor combinations of the cinnamon and all those fall crumble-like flavors don't quite go well with um, pineapple. It's just... I don't know, it didn't, I didn't, I finished it, it was fine, I just, it, I don't think it's as good as the other ones, because I've had the White Russian Cake before, and that one is amazing, Big Lebowski reference, anybody? Big Lebowski, White Russians, that drink, Big Lebowski, right? Um, you know, I met, I met the real Big Lebowski once, like the guy who inspired the actual or the actual Big Lebowski, the actual person who inspired the movie character of the Big Lebowski. You know what, I should find, I was going to turn this into a one take, but I don't think so anymore. So I'm going to have to go and find that picture of me and the real Big Lebowski and drop it in right here. So that was that picture. 
and uh, saw that at Ebert Fest in Champaign, uh, Roger Ebert's film festival. They brought um, The Big Lebowski to the festival and had him there to talk about it and how it's sort of based off of his life in a way. Um, why can't I remember his name? The real guy's name. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe what I'll do is put his name like somewhere in here, like on my hand, right there. Um, cause I can't think of it right now. Jeff. Wait, Jeff Lebowski. <laughs> but I think his real name is Jeff. First name. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? I was doing all sorts of stuff. I have this food here, Jet's Pizza, not Jet's Pizza, Blaze Pizza. Um, how did I get to the Big Lebowski? Oh, the White Russians. Um, yeah, so that is a good dessert. I've had it before and I'm gonna eat it tomorrow. The trifle I haven't had from there, but I'm excited to try that. And I'm very glad I started with the pineapple thing because that one was my least favorite. I think, you know, I haven't had the trifle, but I can almost guarantee I'm gonna like this trifle more than the pineapple thing because it was just such an odd combination of flavors. The cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, all of that stuff just didn't quite work with the pineapple the way I wanted it to. So yeah, I'm glad I ate that first because I like to end strong, you know, go out on a high note. So I think I'm going to go out on the white Russian cake tomorrow. So I probably will actually have the trifle for breakfast and then the white Russian cake. I should have, why didn't I vlog that? I don't know, because I was so tired. The kids wore me out, so I didn't show any of the desserts, but I need to remember to do that tomorrow. I'd like to do that. I've been doing a lot of one takes or these late, late night chats especially in October because I was, you know, sort of focusing on movies, film, horror films, things like that. Um, but I don't know, kind of want to get back into vlogging the day, the happenings of an entire day. So maybe I'll get back into that, but man, those kids make it difficult. <sighs> I am just yawning. I'm so sorry, man. So sorry. Anybody who's watching this, you stumble on this. Let's say the year is 2028 you stumble on this video and I was just yawning and I'm apologizing to you from the year 2020 isn't that crazy um I wonder what the world's like I wonder who's president right right now it's Trump but Biden just won the election so he's gonna be president here in a few months who's gonna be president in the year president in the year 2028 is that what I said 2028 maybe Trump will be again maybe he's gonna go for it or um, his, uh, his uh, daughter. I can see her trying. You never know. Maybe it's going to be someone we don't know. Maybe it'll be Andrew Yang. I'm here for that. Pete Buttigieg. Seems like a nice guy. Uh, who knows? So far down the road. There's probably a bunch of people we don't even know that are going to be president. A bunch of people. A single person. Um, anyway, off. I can't believe I've almost been going for 10 minutes here. Now, this is going to be almost a one take, but of course, I'm going to put in that picture of the Big Lebowski. Jeff Dunn? Is that it? Jeff Dunn? Is that his name? I don't know. Again, I've already said his name because I put it in the corner there. Um, but I think that's going to do it for today. So perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.